Oh, I sure do love the zoo. Look at the cute little pandas. I'm gonna get a little closer. Come here, you little pot bit my face! You know, this world is filled with all kinds of dangerous animals. That I don't need to tell you. However, what I do need to tell you is most of the animals that you think are cute and cuddly and are just adorable can actually kill you. Here are 10 adorable animals that can kill you. Part two. Number 10 are dingoes. That dingo's got my baby was a famous phrase uttered by Lindy Chamberlain in 1982, who claimed that a wild dog stole her nine-week-old baby right out of her tent in the Australian outback. Authorities thought Chamberlain was lying, and she was convicted of killing her child and sentenced to life in prison. That was until part of the baby's jacket was discovered four years later in a dingo's lair. Chamberlain's sensational story became a cry in the dark, a film starring Oscar winner Meryl Streep in 1988. Despite this gruesome tale, most dingoes do not prey on human babies and are actually shy and timid of most humans. However, all the same, Australian authorities still have to remind people that these are wild animals, not just cute dogs, and urge a lot of caution, especially when around children and never to feed them. Look at this cute little Australian doggy. I'm gonna pet him. I lost my hand. Number nine are cows. Mm -hmm. Murder. Cows are so darn cute, especially little baby calves. However, they'll kill you. The bovine has helped human civilization develop as a beast of burden, provider of milk, and keep us warm in the winter, and looking sharp in our Gucci boots, unless you're a vegan, in which case that's murder. But cows, especially bulls, can be deadly to humans who mess with them, like bullfighters who taunt the poor creatures with red flags and swords, and sometimes end up on the business end of their horns. Ole! Attendees of the running of the bulls that kicks off the San Fermin festival in Pamplona, Spain have been gored, trampled, and impaled with 15 recorded deaths since they began keeping records back in 1924. Now bulls are obvious, but in case you're wondering how cows can kill you, well if you ever go cow tipping and one falls on you, <laughs> you deserve it. Number 8 are squirrels. Visit any park in North America and you're likely to encounter a collection of cute bushy-tailed little rodents gathering acorns and performing acrobatic leaps from tree to tree. Now most squirrels are harmless and have adapted to living amongst and often off of humans and delight us with their antics. Now that's all well and good, however, there are some instances where squirrels can carry rabies and have been known to attack and bite humans when you least suspect it. Imagine being on a picnic date at the park, oh baby, you look so nice, you want some cheese? I have rabies. Typically when this happens, it's one lone wolf squirrel, like the one in Marin County in Northern California, who supposedly attacked eight people in three weeks back in 2015 with bites and scratches. Wildlife experts indicate that humans feeding these wild animals is what causes the brazen and aggressive behavior. So put away those Funyuns, it's making the squirrels crazy. Number seven is the pufferfish. The pufferfish, sometimes called the blowfish, looks innocent enough when it's deflated. You know, just your average little fishy smiling, swimming around, it's lovely. It swims around eating various invertebrates and algae, that is, until it's threatened and then inflates to two to three times its normal size with water and air. Ah, oh, it's just a regular day shark! But this isn't just for show, as the pufferfish's body is brimming with tetrodoxin, a foul tasting and lethal toxin 1200 times stronger than cyanide. There's enough in each pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans. But that being said, in Japan, brave foodies will pay ridiculous sums of money in order to eat pufferfish, which they call fugu, cut with precision by only the most experienced and highly trained sushi chefs in the world. Oh, but as long as an experienced chef is cutting it, nope, 23 people have been known to die in Japan from poorly cut fugu, which makes this one a delicacy that I'm happy to blow off. Pardon the pun. Number six are giant pandas. 
panda, 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 panda. Giant pandas are one of China's great symbols, with those kind, docile looking faces in a big cuddly package. But this carnivore with an overactive sex drive is no teddy bear and can kill you with its bite, one of the highest pounds per square inch bite forces in the animal kingdom. It developed this through evolution to chew through bamboo stalks. So it's just gonna bite through your arm like a twig. Just ask Zhang Xinyan, who drank four large beers and decided to have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with a giant panda at the Beijing Zoo. He jumped into Gugu, the giant panda's enclosure, just to show off to some friends, and show off he did. As you could imagine, he startled Gugu just a little bit, who attacked Zhang, nearly biting his right leg off. But Zhang was feeling no pain that day and bit Gugu right back before he was rescued from the pen and later hospitalized. That takes a lot of cojones when a giant panda bear bites you and you're like, yeah, take this. Uh, kids, don't bite animals and don't jump into their enclosures at all. How about just stay away from bears in general? Number five are polar bears. Oh God, speaking of bears. As it turns out, Coca-Cola has us all fooled that polar bears just want to plop down on an iceberg and watch northern lights while sipping on a refreshing Coke. But yeah, actually, they're the largest land predators along with grizzly bears and prey on fish, seals, walruses, and whales, but have also been known to actively hunt humans. Now, luckily, these solitary creatures are isolated in the most desolate and extremely cold places in the Arctic, but with climate change on the rise and their habitat threatened, they are more likely to encounter more humans. In August of 2011, British teenager Hortio Chappelle was part of the British Schools Exploring Society trip on a Norwegian glacier. That's where he was mauled to death by a polar bear while four others were injured. And on top of that, the group had to shoot the bear and were evacuated by helicopter to the hospital for treatment. Maybe he was drinking Coca-Cola and the polar bear was like, I'm gonna have some of that. Number four are orangutans. Orangutans with their cute orange hair are the closest DNA match to humans in the animal kingdom. Due to deforestation, the illegal pet trade, and bushmeat hunting, orangutans can only be found on the islands of Borneo and northern Sumatra, where their habitat is contracting to a breaking point. Known affectionately as the old man of the forest, the largest of all the arboreal animals are the gentlest of all the apes, but their hairy arms wingspan can stretch for up to two 2.44 meters and are very strong from swinging from the trees. But in 2012, an orangutan tribe fought back against palm oil plantation workers, knocking a man named Kernadi out and biting him in retaliation for beating and shooting them with air guns. So they're cute and gentle until you provoke them, in which case they're like, ah, 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 I eat you! Number three are koalas. Can I just ask, are there any animals in Australia that don't want to kill you? Even the koala, the cuddly vegetarian down under, have been known to attack humans when they feel threatened. Now, koalas usually stick to a busy schedule of sleeping 22 hours a day in trees, occasionally only interrupting that sleep for snacking on eucalyptus leaves. The eucalyptus leaves, of course, also having a slightly narcotic effect, making koalas stoned and even more docile. But South Australian woman Mary Ann Forster learned the hard way that even the snuggliest marsupial can become a vicious demon in November of 2014. That's when a koala sunk its razor sharp front incisors right into Miss Forrester's leg when she tried to protect her dogs. The Australian woman had to pry the koala's teeth open to release her leg and hobbled two kilometers home before finally rushing to the hospital where she required 12 stitches. Okay, I have seen people coddle these things and I am never doing that. That's why I like sloths so much. They're too slow to actually hurt you. Sloths, sloths can bite you too. They have razor sharp teeth also. Mess you up? Okay, well, nothing safe. Number two is the slow loris. The slow lorises' anime-sized eyes 
command you to hug it, but don't because they secrete a venom from the underside of their arms. Oh yeah, you wanna go? Check that out. These arboreal primates all hail from Southeast Asia and come in four different versions, all from the Nasidibus genus. The slow loris's brachial glands produce an allergen that's similar to the Fel D1 that causes severe reactions in people with cat allergies. And the disturbing thing is how it's transmitted, which is via their needle-like dental combs, which can cause anaphylactic shock. Now they're called slow not as an insult, but because they sleep all day hidden in trees and move deliberately at night, only a step or two ahead of predators like pythons, eagles, and orangutans. Slow lorises are one of the most coveted animals in the illegal pet trade because they're so cuddly looking. But trust me, they're best enjoyed at zoos or from the safety of your computer screen. Kind of like right now. And number one is the blue ringed octopus. Oh boy, this one. The blue ringed octopus is one of the deadliest animals in the sea, with a venom so poisonous one could kill 10 large men. These cephalopods are barely the size of a pencil from tentacle to beak, with bright blue rings on their body that flash as a warning to would be predators to back off. Predators, prey, and clueless humans can receive a painless nip that injects tetradoxin, the same venom found in pufferfish, which blocks blocks the channels that allow sodium ions into your nerves. That's all scientific jargon for you gon' die. Within 10 minutes, your lips and face go numb, your stomach turns, and then your lungs cease working, so without a ventilator, you better hope that you have your affairs in order. And the craziest thing is that there's no antidote, so survivors have to ride it out and wait about 15 hours until their muscles work again, at which point they will exclaim, maybe I shouldn't harass this octopi. So that was 10 adorable animals that can kill you, part two. And if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a video because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out part one as well. It's pretty fun. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>